Find a way. I'll find a way to explain everything. Hold on. Hi, hello. Um, we are talking about Steven Universe two years later. And at the same time, I'm doing this. So, enjoy the video. You know, if you're a fan of Steven Universe, this is basically gonna be me voicing out my opinions. We're gonna be tackling everything from the animation to the fandom. <sighs> the fandom. And everything in between. My favorite characters, my favorite moments, stuff like that. So, keep watching. I think you'll enjoy it. I don't know. It's... it's... <sighs> I rant a lot. <laughs> So yeah, enjoy the video. I do make this, so stay tuned. Bye. Technically, it's only been a year and seven months since Change Your Mind, but saying two years is easier. So yeah, I do hope you enjoyed the video. It's utter chaos. I am ranting for- Okay, bye. Enjoy. I'm not okay. <laughs> Ever since Steven Universe ended, um, I haven't been okay. Where did all the good cartoons go? Where did they all go? Where? Where is the era now? Did I just miss Steven Universe? <laughs> you probably didn't expect, like, a rant, like, first thing as you clicked on this video, like, I mean, I don't even bother to introduce myself anymore. Hi, I'm Jillamy, and, um, I'm not doing okay. <laughs> you see, Steven Universe was my comfort show. It still is. It was a time in my life where everything was very, very <laughs> It was bad. So when Steven Universe entered my life, I'm like, <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> we are gonna make Steven Universe, Steven Universe's Steven's ukulele. This was a gift given to me by my classmate. Thank you for this. I never really played it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but thank you for this. This was like when I was seven. Yeah, when I was seven. Like there's no strings at all now, but it's just like, I just like kept it, you know? I never really threw it out. So um, now it can serve another purpose. I don't even have the little knobs. The first thing we're gonna do is dust off all the dust. Cause like this has been collecting dust. So let's just paint this white for now, just so we can get like a base going so that all of our colors will be very vivid and clear and beautiful, you know. White paint. I'm just gonna assume that you're a Steven Universe fan as well. Is like, who isn't a fan of Steven Universe? You know. Calm down. Ladies, gents, gays and theys, we shall take our brush and start painting like God descended us to do what? what? My obsession with Steven Universe, as far as I can remember, it was in grade 9 and then like grade 10 I just like openly expressed that oh, um, I'm obsessed with the show. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand why there is so much hate for Steven Universe's animation. Even if it's like they have like moments where it's like iffy and stuff, it's still really good animation. Like what? Oh what? Why the f*** are you complaining? I just fell in love with that little sunshine of a goofball Steven. Ever since since the first season. I miss Steven Universe so much. I wonder how many times I'm gonna say that. It, okay, real talk. Steven Universe is no joke my comfort show. When I feel, when I have like phases or episodes where, you know, it's kind of like hard to deal with being human, I would just stop everything, close the curtains, make every, make the room very dark, I don't know why, and just give all of my attention to watching Steven Universe. And I would always start on the first episode. My favorite character is definitely Amethyst. Ever since the first episode, I just, she's my spirit animal. She's everything I wish to become. My second favorite would be Sapphire. Yes. And then my third would be Lapis. And if you're a hardcore Steven Universe fan, you already know what being a fan of Lapis means. Also, the songs in Steven Universe, just everything about the show just screams comfort, peace, wholesome, just enjoy, you know, sit back, relax, forget all of your worries and just watch this little goofball and three moms that come from outer space. You know, talking about this really makes me want to rewatch the show again.
let's talk about Steven Universe Future. I have a love-hate relationship with Steven Universe Future. I don't know why. It's- I don't know why it's so bittersweet. Maybe it's because like it's the last piece of work that comes from the franchise, but at the same time it's like the storytelling, the way everything is, like I guess just for me, I don't- it's so weird to see Steven grow up and like be mature and all of this. It's so sad that when he matures he's like having all these issues and it's just like a sad reality. Rebecca Sugar is so brilliant, so brilliant. How she may and mature Steven go like the representation not just for the LGBTQ community but also for like in Steven Universe future they do like represent multiple mental health awareness and stuff and I guess that's why I'm like kind of I would re-watch Steven Universe any time of the day. I'll never get bored of it but not once have I ever re-watched Steven Universe future and Loki in the back of my head I'm thinking maybe maybe it's because it hits me too hard <laughs> and not just the fact that like everything is changing and, and then Steven is like going through all of these stuff and then I'm like oh I can relate to you very hardly to the point that oh um this is dangerous <laughs> I don't know I guess I guess I'm afraid of change but like I don't know yet because nothing much has changed in my life for me to be afraid of change. Oh, maybe that's why. Okay, so it's much later. We have a white ukulele now. There is a lot of criticism. Actually, no. Saying that it's criticism is being generous. No. There's a lot of hate for Steven Universe. Um, before I continue this discussion, I do want to say though, I love the show. I don't love the fandom. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about everything about Steven Universe, about its, its, its issues, its fandom, the story in general. I have here questions that I'm going to answer. However, we still have the ukulele that we need to figure out. So, so this is basically the pattern. Um, what I did is just I searched up a picture on Pinterest. What should we talk about first? Uh, the fandom. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Every popular show, even if it's not popular, any show, any type of media will have a fan base, and it's very rare to find a good fan base. But if we're gonna talk about the Steven Universe fandom, uh, yeah, not, not pretty, not, not the best. Definitely not the best. I'm not just gonna say how much I love the show and ignore all of the other stuff about it. To put it simply, do I think Steven Universe is a great show? Yes. It's an amazing show. This is just my opinion. I just love the plot. I love the characters. So it's just a show that's whimsical, magical. It's just... I just like it. Do you like Rose? <laughs> Do I like Rose? Well, I feel like everyone adored her at like the first seasons because like she was portrayed as this beautiful- I love her representation, okay? I love that she has always been like this character on Steven Universe where she is literally symbolizing beauty and she's a plus size woman. No, a plus size space rock. And I adore that so much. I think that's like one of the reasons why I adore Steven Universe so much. Rebecca Sugar is truly, truly brilliant because I don't think I've ever like witnessed a character where its character development is backwards. Have you noticed that? Truly, I cannot name a character like Rose because her character development was shown in the show. It was presented backwards in the first season. For First season, second, third, we see Rose as like Steven's mom, who was this beautiful, kind, loving, magnificent, you know, life form and that everyone adored and everyone was inspired by and she led the rebellion. But then as we keep watching the show, we realize that, oh, Rose, spoiler alert, Rose used to be a diamond and diamonds aren't really that good a person, a life form. Space rock. Obviously, when we learn that Pink Diamond was a diamond. Oh no, that. Obviously, as we learned that Rose Quartz was a diamond and then she was supposed to colonize 
earth and then this whole thing about her disguising herself as a rose quartz blah 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 we already saw that she went she went from beautiful fearless rebellious leader to oh she's a diamond colonizing the planet and then back to being a good character where she was she was like oh there's humans here there's precious life here i don't want to colonize the earth i'm gonna start a rebellion not the greatest idea rose i mean pink diamond not the greatest idea erase yourself from the equation but i mean what's a good plot story without drama you know and then after that we see the movie where she just left spinel i'm still not over that by the way i still am a little bit bitter that Rose, I mean Pink Diamond, did that. I'm aware that she's a changed life form now and that she won't do that ever again, but like, how can you just leave someone? How do you have the ability to just, hey, let's play a game, you stay right there and I'll never come back. Sounds good? I can't, I just can't. In conclusion, do I like Rose? I like the latest version of her. I don't think she actually took accountability for her actions. I can hear you raging right now, like, what do you mean? She, she like took care of Earth. And like she waged a war that that made all of the rebellion, all of them, except for only her, Pearl, and Garnet, to survive. What kind of leader? But ah, uh, this is why it's so brilliant because you know why they did it, but you also think like, oh fuck, that is so messed up. But at the same time, it's like, no, what else could they have done? Second part. Yes, I'm still I'm still making this thing. <laughs> This is where we are. We are now painting the red of this. I'm gonna repaint like a second layer of all of them. Oh, is it okay if I record now? You don't seem to mind. Hi! You can't really see Neko very well. So we're here with the final product. Look at that final product. It's not perfect. Your plate is gonna fall off. Hold on. Okay. What more can I say about this? I don't know. So this is practically the end of the video. Also, if you're wondering why I'm outside, I just like, I actually don't know. I don't know why. Cause like I've been stuck in my room. I love this. I adore this. I, I can't stop looking at it. Come here, baby. Click like if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the family. We are slowly making progress. And stay tuned for next week's video. Rawr. I adore Steven Universe. It has been and it always will be my comfort show. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I can't get it close to the camera. Bye! <laughs>